Hey everyone, so I am back to do another video for you guys and I wanted to do this look for you guys. I hope you guys can see it. Um, let me see if I can turn this light off because it makes me look yellow. Uh, and it looks like this. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so first of all, you guys all know I'm using my corrector from Bish Lab Cosmetics. And this one is in light. Um, the, the link is down below, like I said before. I'm still getting the same questions over and over again about what is it that I use before I put my eyeshadow on. And it's corrector, concealer, um, eyeshadow base. I have it down below as an eyeshadow base. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, go ahead. Don't forget to use my code, Pretty Miss Grace, to get 15% off. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over the lid. Um, before the video, I wasn't going to record, but I already did. But I already applied it. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on the bottom, since I forgot to do that. And I'm just going to apply a little bit, and then smudge it out with my fingers. So... Like so. So, Bitch Lip Cosmetics actually So, I'm going to be bags. using These are paint wheels. If you guys haven't heard of them, I'll put the link on the bottom bar. Uh, yes, I know it says on the website that they're um, not for the eye area. Whatever, you guys don't have to use them for the eye area. I do use them at the eye area. Um, I haven't gone blind. So, for those that be asking questions, I'm still doing videos. Have you guys checked my old videos? I have looks on the paint wheels. So, yeah. So, it's up to you guys. But, yeah. So, I'll be using this paint wheel. Uh, I forgot the name of it. I have to check the thing since I depotted mine and I put it in a palette. And the palette looks like this. Let me open it so you guys can see. And it looks like this. These are my old my paint wheels that I've had for a long time. This one fell and broke. So yeah, there's a lot more. I have more, so I'll be doing looks on those. So I'm Hi. gonna go ahead and I am going to be using an eyeshadow brush. And I'm using this jumbo shadow. It's a big, big, big one. And I'm going to be using the yellow eyeshadow on here. And I'm going to apply it right here. And all I do is I tap the color. I don't like whimper. I don't put it there and then swipe it. Um, I just like to um, add the intensity. So I just do it like this. But everybody does it differently. So it's all good. And I'm just going to dab the color until I'm happy with the color the intensity of it and I'm trying to rush it since I got stuff to do today and I'm moving out so yeah okay so clean out the fallout from there I'm gonna go ahead and use this green one right here and I'm applying that to the other side of my lid and I'm just going to apply it like so the same way I apply the yellow is the same way I'm applying this one like so like so I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit more since I forget that I'm recording and I'll just won't you guys won't be able to see the work. Um, from there, I am actually going to go ahead and going to use, I believe this is Blue Eyed Bitch. And I'm going to use this dark blue right here. And I'm going to apply that on my crease. And I'm actually going to be using, where is my brushy? I don't know the name of the brush. I don't remember where I got it. And it's my favorite since I haven't been able to find one, but it's this brush like this. This is not a blending brush. It actually it's fat and then it gets thin at the end. So I'm going to grab some of that blue from the blue eye bitch. 
pink wheel and I am going to apply that on my crease and I'm gonna start gently not pressing on the brush since I don't want it to get all messy and stuff and I'm going to grab my, more color tap the axis and then keep adding color like so you don't want to go too high up so just make sure you kind of concentrate the color on the crease uh, like so so it should look like that and I'm going to apply more here on the crease like so and apply more color here yeah, because I want it to be really dark you can use a pencil brush or whatever you feel more comfortable using I'm going back with that grain that I used because I feel like it's disappearing I'm going to apply that there from there, I'm going to go ahead and use my Pro Blend um, Fluff. And it actually looks like the MAC, uh, I believe it's this 217 brush. And I am going to be using this grain right here. I'm going to grab that one. And I'm actually going to use this as my blending. I'm going to make my green, my blue harsh line disappear. And yeah. So, patience, my friends. So as you can see, it's already disappearing. Um, if you get blue on the brush, you can either clean it off or keep using it like that. I like to clean mine off. So, I clean, blending, 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 blending. So, as you can see, I already blended out. It's starting to fade out the harsh line. Like so. Should look like that. This is my uh, blending brush that I love, 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 love. And I am going to use the white eyeshadow on this paint wheel right here. And like I said, they saw the paint wheel separate or they saw them together. They saw them with palettes. They saw them in eyeshadow compacts. So, whatever you guys choose is fine. So, I'm going to use that as a highlight on my brow bone. So, I'm going to apply that on top and blend it down. 